So 50% of the people who defaulted on their loan were not predicted by the model. But the predictive capacity of the model has jumped from 90.5. Here the overall predictive capacity of the model, just the null model, uh, is 90.5. And in the classification table that has the predictive model, it's 94.7 percent. So we've got we've increased the predictive capacity of the model by five percent, where the comparison is just saying nobody defaults on the loan. And when we when we say that, we say that we're, we were right 90 percent of the time. So we've jumped up uh, five percent in classification accuracy. And in my opinion, when you're dealing with really big numbers and 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 uh important things like mortgage defaults a 5% increase in your classification accuracy is something i would argue to be quite impressive now in most cases i'd say in a lot of cases in logistic regression uh it isn't such a lopsided uh, phenomenon that you're trying to predict, like this is a 90-10 split uh, in terms of percentages. In most cases, it's going to be roughly about 50-50. I don't know about most, but in a lot of cases, it's about 50-50. Uh, and when you're dealing with a 50-50 case, I would say in practice, if you can get up to 65% to 70% classification accuracy, you're doing quite you're doing pretty well. Um, in this case here, we can't use that benchmark because it's so lopsided. But I'm saying I think a 5% uh, increase um, in, in classification accuracy from 90 to basically 95% is actually quite good. Now, uh, the last table in the regression model, which actually has uh, a fair bit of information, interpretive information, uh, is the variables in the equation table. Now, our con we've got the unstandardized, basically the unstandardized beta weights and the constant, just like you would have in multiple regression. Now, the constant is equal to 10.906. This may not have huge meaning to anyone, uh, but it's necessary uh, for the purposes of building a regression, a logistic regression equation or a model. You need this constant variable. Now, gender has an unstandardized beta weight that is A, positive, and B, uh, equal to the value of 3.3. Uh, or 325. And that's saying that uh, greater values of gender are associated with greater po probabilities of defaulting. So uh, zeros and ones, one is default. So a higher value in B is associated with a higher probability of defaulting. Now these are actually based on uh, logit values. They're not, um, they're not uh, variables that have a huge amount of meaning uh, in a very uh, natural way that can be interpreted from a table. So it's just basically saying that a one unit increase in gender from zero to one, there is only one unit in our gender variable, is associated with a 3.325 increase in the logit uh, variable which is somewhat similar to the probability of defaulting. Uh, at least uh, on, on a scale, you can pred you can correlate the two, and you'll get a positive correlation. Uh, but they're not exactly the same thing as a probability, uh, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, annual salary, uh, by comparison, has a a negative value, and b equal to 0 0.302. So as you increase salary, a one unit increase in salary, which is one thousand uh, dollars, is associated with a negative, a decrease in the logit. Uh, uh, value uh, in our logit variable, if you will. Now, logistic regression builds this uh, unstandardized logistic regression uh, as a stepping stone, if you will, in order to predict things that are more interpretable, uh, which are the odds ratios. But before I get to those, uh, I'll note that both of our annual salary and gender um, predictors are statistically significant predictors in the regression equation model. And that's estimated by a Wald statistic with one degree of freedom. And Wald statistic is very similar to T-statistic, uh, as, as we see in a multiple regression analysis. Um, so they're both statistically significant, and they're both predicting, they're both significant predictors in the regression equation model. Uh, so we would use both of them if we wanted to build a model to help uh, in the future predict who might default on a mortgage, a subprime mortgage. Now here are the odds ratios. Now the odds ratios are similar to the unstandardized beta weights in the sense that we say a one unit increase in gender, which is zero to one, 
when you go from male to female, there is actually a t almost a 20 